What is going on guys? Poppers on A7 here, and I'm finally back with League Racing on the F1 2018 game. It's taken a few weeks since the game was released, but we're finally here with League Racing. And let's get one thing straight to start off with. I am not in the F1 tier for the Oceana division, unfortunately. So I won't be racing with any of the top drivers who I have been racing with for the past couple of seasons and the previous games. I'm not racing with Ryan, Ward and Ben. Uh, Jared, HO, all of the other quick guys, unfortunately. And there's one pretty simple reason for that. It is the no assist restrictions they have running in the F1 tier. Everyone else um, who had the line in previous games, they turned off to start off with, and I I didn't. I got it myself, I didn't. And I probably should have in hindsight, and then I might be might have been a little bit quicker, and I might have just been just about being able to race in F1. But alas, can't be helped. We're now in F2, so we still got quite a few quick guys in here, don't get me wrong, it will still be difficult to compete at races and get good results. So I still have my hands full, and I have promised for the, some parts of the season to try and turn off the racing line, which is my only assist by the way that I'm still using, um, and race with no assist completely and move up to F1 by the end of this season. So hopefully that is, well that is the aim, and hopefully we can do it. So, for the first race in Australia, on the Superstar tyres, we qualified P5 on the grid, which is pretty decent. And we set at exactly the same time as Penske, by the way, behind us. So, that's uh, something fun to note. Uh, the strategy is going to be a one-stop, going from the Supers to the Softs. A pretty boring strategy, but it is the quickest one, so it can't be helped, really. And as a setup, pretty aggressive with 8 ballast and 2-6 wings. So, let's go on the grid now and see what we can do for this race. First race in on F1 2018 league racing properly in F2. Let's get off to a good start. So lights out and away we go. And the four seen alongside us gets a tremendous start. We get a pretty bad start actually to be honest. Get a little bit bogged down. And we're going around the outside of the four seen here, which I believe is Owens, and I think he changed his game attack um, before the race. So we're now up at P4, we've got a Williams right behind us. Now going towards the oh, turn three, I think it is. We're looking up the inside of top banter. It's gonna be new for this division. And that was pretty aggressive. We nearly got the move on him, but he held it around the outside, so that's pretty good stuff from him. As we're going through that quick right under there, which is oh, which is flat only just if you get the right line. But yeah, it's a pretty good start, and we'll just see what we can do. Now I know we are racing with the racing line for this race, uh, which I was like, kind of disappointed about. Australia, I did try a lot of practice with without the racing line, and I struggled massively. I was way off the pace. And I just felt I, w I was not going to get anywhere if I wasn't going to run the line. At least for this round. For other rounds, I will try and take off. But top banter, by the way, has completely bottled through that left-right chicane. And to be fair, a lot of people did during this race, as you'll see uh, in a few minutes. But anyway, nothing really happened up to our first pit stops. Rain96 is also in this uh, tier, having dropped down to F2 because of the whole line issue. And I believe he's going to be trying out his new wheels some point during the season as well. So he will be a little, his pace will be a little bit affected by that. But so far, he's running, you know, like uh, like the full situation that he's running in F1. So he's still a very quick driver. And he'll be one to watch out for. And yeah, I think he actually got the undercut on me because um, he pitted a little bit early because it was on the chop tyres. He had a very poor qualifying, but he pulled it back. And now we've got the race leaders, Exodona and Zombie. But make that just Exodona and Rain now. As Zombie has bottled into the wall, that's a bit of a shame from him. And he was one of many people okay, to bottle clear. through that left right chicane. Especially if you're going to run 8 ballast, it's very tricky to get right and it is very easy to lose it. Another person who also dropped down from F1 to F2 this season because the whole line, um, you know, no assist thing in F1 and you can use the line here, is VSR chicane. And he's also pretty quick from, as I'm sure you guys remember from last season as well. And on the final lap of this race, he, he did the alternative strategy. He is caught up right to the back of me. And I'm struggling now on my soft tyres a little bit. He's hold, trying to hold it round my outside into this right-hander. And I think he was quite aggressive. I feel like it did just about leave enough room. I feel like he turned inside too early as well. Hit my side pod, went to the gravel. But if there's a time to get your elbows out, it's definitely the last lap of this race. So I don't feel disappointed with my actions there. I feel like I... Defended aggressively but fairly. 
And we come across line for P3, which is actually a first podium in league racing in quite a while. Got to be honest, it's been quite a bit of a drought uh, since my last podium in league racing. So yeah, that's Australia race. And now you can understand why I didn't really make a whole uh, video just of that race. Because there wasn't really much action and there wasn't really much happening. So congrats to Externa for the win. And congrats to Ray96 who got the undercut on me and got P2. So both of those guys were pretty quick. And they're definitely going to be ones to watch out for in the championship. Along with, of course, with Chicane. Uh, my teammate, by the way, Chimchar, uh, from, also from F1 last season, who's also moved down with me. And we're actually teammates in the Mercedes, so that should be pretty cool. But yeah, um, I finished only 20 seconds of the lead. I got two penalties, I believe, and I think all the guys around me actually got the same amount of penalties. So it was all pretty neutral and all pretty good. So now on to Bahrain for the second race of the uh, F2 Oceania Championship. And you'll notice one massive change from the offset. This is the first league racing that we're going to properly try to run with no racing line. And you can see there's no colourful snake going through the first few corners. I've kept to my word. I, after the Australia race, I said to myself, I will turn off the line the for session. Bahrain. As I did some practice with, around Bahrain as well as Australia beforehand. And I noticed I was a lot more comfortable going around Bahrain than I was Australia with no line. Just think about the actual track layouts and... I, I don't know, just so about my driving style as well, I was a bit more suited to Bahrain. I have noticed that I'm actually quicker around Bahrain than Australia. I think it's to do with the um, the tyre warming issues, especially on the pad uh, for this game. I've noticed I'm a lot quicker around Bahrain than I am in Australia. Just to just sort of like, you know, career mode and stuff like that. But anyway, this is our qualifying lap and it wasn't that bad to be honest. I could go quick obviously with the line, I'm probably still like almost a second off my actual normal pace. But considering this is my first time and without it, and to be fair, I didn't really practice that much. All through the week lead onto the Bahrain race, Forza Horizon 4 came out, I was playing that. On the day I had work and then F, the actual F1 Grand Prix, then Bathurst as well. So I barely practiced and to actually qualify, well do this sort of lap, it's by no means quick really at all. But it's on the soft tyres and we qualified P10. So to have inside the top 10 on soft tyres, which is not the softer ones obviously, with no line, it's not too bad at all. I believe Chimchar also tried to turn his line off this race as well. So let's see what we can both do, both Mercedes guys. Uh, Rain is ahead of us in P8. I think he tried to race in the wheel, but he had issues during the race and reverted back to the pad. So that's unfortunate for him. But we're going to see what we can do now. The five lights are coming on the screen. Let's see what we can do. So, lights out now and away we go. And it's a fairly, that's a fairly good start actually. We're right on the back of Rain there. I think about going to the inside, going to turn one, but with no racing line, I just want to keep it nice and nice and cautious as I broke quite early there. And we're actually going to clip the inside massively, bumping over the burp, but the um, curbs there and getting a warning for a team track number. So it didn't actually gain us any advantage. In fact, we've lost a few positions from the start. We're now back down at P13. So not the best start in the world to so bump it across the inside turn one. Just basically just avoided a collision, but meanwhile we're going side by side over Haas through the second sector. And as you can see, I'm just taking a nice and cautious to this part of the race. As they're now being challenged by another car on the left hand side. It's got rain going down the inside of a Toro Rosso ahead, which I believe is Iquaeus. And we've got the Haas ahead as well. So just trying to get into a river and try and not make any big mistakes as the Toro Rosso there goes massively wide into turn 10. And he's rejoining, but the Haas is leaving him no room up the, up, up, up the um, back straight now towards turn 11, I guess it is. And the Haas goes massively wide. There might be a bit of decent contact between the Toros and the Haas there. I'm not quite sure, but uh, for now the Toros are looking very vulnerable. He's looking for the outside line into this Pinotto corner. And now we get a much better run. Hopefully we might be able to challenge him going on the back straight as everyone ahead of the Toros is quite far ahead. So I think I'll take a risk and go really deep on the brakes as that's what I do. I break it just about, just after the 100 meter board. And we actually run slightly wide, uh, which just put us a little bit offline. There. It's actually a little bit of advantage gain there. So it's a, kind of a bit naughty, but we're now under pressure from Top Banter and Icoeus as we're going three wide down the straight towards turn one. Who's going to break the earliest? That's going to be me because I'm being nice and cautious. As Top Banter gets a move, fairly respectable for him. I didn't really fight that much, although he goes massively wide through turn two and three. So it looks like he's got a really rear happy 
uh, or overstay happy setup on this car as you're missing apex of turn four. For some reason, that braking zone out of all of them I had trouble with throughout the race. I made quite a few mistakes there, but up going on to lap five now. Oh, no, sorry, lap four, well, nearly five. Regards, Forsen, yes, burn on the final corner. I think that's Owens once again, who's had a pretty poor start to the season, unfortunately, for him. And now we're in the slipstream of Top Banter. Nope, we're going to lap seven now. Uh, now we've got Top Banter and Hitsky, who are battling head for position. They both don't have, have the RS, as I do. So let's see what I can do now. But once again, we're just trying to maintain and survive for this race. We're not going to try anything really reckless or stupid. We just want to maintain, survive, and get decent points. Keep a front wing attack as well, if possible. And execute the one stop, one, the one stop and yeah. See if we can have a few battles along the way, obviously. So we had a quick look up the inside of Top Hunter there, who left the room on the apex of turn four. So this battle, we all, all, all four of us seem to be really close on pace. Myself, Top Banter, Penske, and I, Kawaius. So it should be pretty interesting for the whole of the race. Obviously, we're all on the same strategy, all on the soft tyres, and we'll probably all be pitting onto the mediums at some point during this race. So Top Banter there, loser through turn 10, and that's very close to me having no front wing. That, oh, I, my heart was on my mouth at that point there, seeing Top Banter half spin on the apex in the corner. I had to completely back out of it to avoid a collision. And I think Ikeweas also did the same thing behind me as he almost but uh, hit my rear end as well. So all four of us pushing like, like crazy actually to be honest. And now we're in the slipstream of top banter. And can we make a move down the inside onto turn one? We're gonna break late as we can, late as we dare. A little bit of contact, you force on a little bit wide, but that's a clean move. And we're now up into P5. So P5 already, this point in the race. It's pretty decent, got to be honest. And yeah, if we can get good solid points um, in this race, and I'll definitely be happy. But now lap 10, we've got a yellow flag ahead, and that's rain, I think, in the Ferrari. Spun out in the middle of the track. I have sort of hesitated about what side yeah, of the track he would stay, be, stay in the middle of the road. And I believe he actually might have caused the collision behind uh, with Kuwaius. I'm not sure, but there was a bit, there was, all, there was a few yellow flags there, and I believe he had a little bit of incident with someone, I'm not quite sure who it was though. So going to the pit lane, and then a lap 12, my tyres are pretty dead. I've got to be honest, I was concentrating so hard on getting the braking points and all that sort of stuff um, right, that I wasn't really focusing on the tyres that much at all. Like I was sliding around quite a bit, is basically what I'm saying. And when you go offline in this game, it just tends to heat up your tyres. Um, well, use the tyres quite a bit more than if you stick to the racing line. And obviously, when you're trying to learn braking points and basically how to drive again, you tend to slide and miss a lot of apexes. I know, we're rejoined side by side of Owens. We lose a back end, and I believe he actually touched our rear wing and got front wing damage from that. And I've had a little bad and about that, and I actually completely I broke myself into turn four. And that actually allowed Top Banter to get ahead of me. He pitted a few laps ago, and now he's got the position as I run off track there somehow and get a time penalty, which is really annoying. Bahrain isn't one of really one of those places you should be getting time penalties if you can help it, as track limits aren't really that bad here. Got to be honest, as we look at the inside of Owens, um, and I thought he was actually going to close the door on me. I mean, I can imagine he was feeling a little pissed about that incident, even though. He did hit my rear end and I was fully ahead of him. I did sort of just lose the back end on rear tyres and just sort of, well, yeah, just cause a roadblock for him. Which is a bit unfortunate, it was not my intention, but to be honest, we were actually struggling on these medium tyres. Not only for consistency, but also because they just felt really cold and actually really slow. And is that Matt has actually just overtaken us, even though he's on much older medium tyres. I believe he pitted at the end of like lap one or two or something. So he's been on those mediums for ages now. So yeah, hopefully we can actually get back ahead of him some point soon, because Ray96 is hunting us down really quickly after his spin. He's trying to recover all the lost positions. And we actually, quite, I break ourselves quite massively there and Rain sneaks up our inside and then we're gonna hold it ground the outside. But there's a four car train ahead of Top Banter, Ikeweas and Penske, all of which actually jumped me on my really slow outlap being held up by Owens with front wing damage and uh, losing the back end of our progress of turn four. They all jumped me, uh, which is kind of unfortunate and um, I believe someone else, oh yeah, that's Matt as well, obviously, we've talked before. 
So hopefully I can stay with this train and hopefully they can have a little bit of action, maybe cause a few incidents and tangle each other up and hopefully I can get more points. Although at the moment I'm in P10, I believe there's a few people ahead still get to pit, like Chimchar, I believe my team teammate is ahead and still hasn't pitted yet. And I think Rain might have to do a pit stop, I'm not quite sure. I don't think so, actually, no. Ma Matt has to do a pit stop, though. That's a certain. And now we're on the slipstream of Matt, and we're looking for the inside line. Now, Dunn into turn one. He gives us room on the apex, so that's full respect to him. And now he's got a compromised line coming out of turn two, three, and now we're right in the slipstream once again. Going towards turn four. He moves a little bit in the braking zone, and that started me a little bit, but we get the braking zone actually really quite nicely. Hit the apex, but he gets a switch back. And he's got better traction there. And he's lucky on the inside line as we get another warning for exceeding track limits there. As we're getting, trying to get switched back once again through the second section. It's a great battling with Izzat Matt. And now trying to get switched back in him. But he just parks it on the exit and I couldn't get good vent in there. Which is a bit unfortunate but can't be helped. As now we lose the back end going to turn two. As I think I shifted down into second gear a little too early there. So we have to wait another lap before we can get past Is That Matt. As now, in the very next lap, we're in the slipstream, much closer this time. He defends the inside, and now we're going to hold it, try and hold it round the outside. We'll break quite cautiously at the 100 meter board again, and we're holding round the outside, and he should be the position now, hopefully. Going, uh, pairing out of turn two and three. And now there's a yellow flag, that's VSR Chicane, who is fighting for the lead with Exodona and Zombie, who have com is completely in the wall. And from replays of stream footage, it, should, it looked like he just turned across. Um, I think it was Zombie, no, I think it was Exodona. I'm not sure. It was one of those two anyway, but um, unfortunately there's Chicane only having himself to blame for that uh, incident. As now we've got Matt right behind us, who we overtook. He was challenging a little bit, but now, later on in the race, I was actually finding my feet and getting good pace. I was heading quite a few uh, personal bests, and we were actually closing on a Pinsky and the two cars ahead of uh, Banta and Ikeweus. But unfortunately, Penske doesn't have a time penalty, whereas I have two now, which is kind of annoying, but it meant that I didn't really try and push Penske that hard. I wasn't a part of him. He took, yeah, I knew he didn't have any penalties, so I didn't want to try and fit two rapid to him. So it's going to be P7. Uh, it looks like DT is a few seconds behind, but he also has a penalty. So I'm going to get P7 in this race. And to be honest, I was pretty happy with that. Um, pretty happy, actually. Banta and Iquest actually got penalties of their own, so if they hadn't got any, I probably would have got P5. But, can't be helped, really. I'm just pretty pleased that I actually completed a race with no assist for once. And I know I'm badgering on about it, but when you've used an assist in a racing game for many years, you just get so used to it, and turning off feels unnatural. It, I'm making excuses, I know, but, yeah. I'm just pretty happy that I was able to do it for once, and uh, yeah, I was actually able to get a pretty strong result out of it. And actually have a few good battles and keep it clean while I'm at it as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. The next race is China. China is, is a pretty difficult track to race a no assist. Same with the next few, actually. Baku, Monaco, they're all pretty difficult tracks. So hopefully, I can do well then. Yeah, and uh, stay tuned for next time, the next video. So, I'll see you guys then. Palms out.